Hi children, today I'm going to read you the story, Ellie and His Little White Lie. The author is Goldie Golding, and the illustrator is Linda Snowden. I didn't do it, said Adina. It wasn't me, said Shani. Nor me, said Yussie. Then who ate the chocolate pudding cake, asked Shani. What chocolate pudding cake, said Ellie. But there was chocolate all over Ellie's face and even on his shirt. He did it. He ate it. Ellie should have told the truth, but he didn't. All of a sudden, something flew onto Ellie's shoulder. He tried to brush it away with his hand. Shoe fly, he said. I'm not a fly, a voice answered. Who said that, asked Ellie, looking all around. I didn't hear anything, said Shani, but Ellie was able to hear it. And Ellie was able to see it. It was little, it was fluffy, and it was white. Ellie picked it up and held it in the palm of his hand. If you're not a fly, said Ellie, then what are you? Just a little white lie, it said. I think you're cute, said Ellie. Ellie loved the little white lie. He took it with him everywhere. He took it to the park, he took it to the store, and he even took it to school. One day, Shawnee found a ball. Is this yours, she asked Ellie. Uh-huh, said Ellie, and he nodded yes. He knew that it wasn't his. Ellie should have told the truth, but he didn't. All of a sudden, the little white lie began to grow. And then, poof, it changed from white to pink. Let's play, said the, the pink lie to Ellie when it stopped growing. I can't play, said Ellie. I have to do my homework. Oh, you can do it later, the lie said. Come. And it held out its pink fluffy arm to Ellie. Ellie and the pink fluffy lie played for a long time. Ellie came home late. I'm glad you're home, said Ellie's mother. It's almost supper time. Do you have any homework to do? I don't think so, said Ellie. He did have homework to do. Ellie should have told the truth, but he didn't. All of a sudden, the lie began to grow again. It grew bigger and bigger, and then, poof, it changed from pink to blue. Let's play king, said the blue lie when it stopped growing. I'll be the king, and you'll be my slave. Now bring me something to eat. I don't like this game at all, Ellie complained, and I don't even like you anymore. Then Ellie did a very bad thing. He threw a plate down to the floor. Crash! It smashed into tiny bits. Ellie's mother ran quickly into the room. What happened, she asked. The plate fell off the table, Ellie said. It wasn't my fault. Ellie should have told the truth, but he didn't. As soon as he told this lie, the big blue lie began to grow even bigger. It grew, and it grew, and it grew, and then poof! It changed from blue to purple. Soon it became a gigantic, ugly, disgusting purple lie. Now the lie took Ellie wherever it wanted to go. I'm hungry, growled the ugly purple lie. What's for dinner? Spaghetti and meatballs, replied Ellie. It's my favorite dish. Mine too, said the ugly purple lie, and it gobbled up everything that was in the pot. Ellie was upset. He ran to his room and shut the door. He leaned against the door to keep the lie out. Go away, said Ellie. I don't like you anymore. But the purple lie didn't listen. It pushed the door open. Next, Ellie tried stuffing the purple lie into the broom closet, but it didn't fit. Then he tried pushing it under the couch, but the couch popped up to the ceiling with Ellie on it. Oh, it's no use, sobbed Ellie. You just won't go away. Finally, Ellie said, I'm going to sleep. Maybe when I wake up, you'll be gone. Ellie said Shema and went to bed. The purple lie fell asleep in the rocking chair. It made loud and funny snoring sounds. 
That night, Ellie dreamt about his lie. I used to think you were so cute when you were little and white, Ellie, said Ellie. How did you ever grow into something so ugly and big and purple? Because you kept lying, said the lie. But now I want you to go away, Ellie shouted. Do you really want me to leave, asked the lie. Yes, I truly do, screamed Ellie, and he suddenly woke up from his sleep. Now Ellie, Ellie finally knew how to get the horrible creature to go away. I'm sorry that I ever told that first little lie, Ellie said. Now I know why the Torah says, keep far away from lies, only tell the truth. From now on, Ellie said, I will always tell the truth. And he did. That morning, when Ellie sat down to breakfast, his mother asked, Ellie, did you wash your hands? Ellie was about to lie, but he didn't. Instead, he told the truth. I didn't wash it, Mommy. I'm sorry. I'll do it right now. Mother gave Ellie a big hug and a kiss. As soon as Ellie told the truth, the gigantic, ugly purple lie started to shrink. Why are you getting smaller? asked Ellie. Because you are telling the truth, it said. Then Ellie told his brother and sisters that he was the one who ate the chocolate pudding, the chocolate pudding cake. Ellie felt much better now. When the lie heard Ellie telling the truth again, it packed its bags and it got ready to leave. Ellie smiled as he watched the lie shrink smaller and smaller and smaller, and then poof, it was gone. When you stop telling lies, the lie is gone.